Tonight's review brought to you by a great big bunch of CGR Undertow. Support the DVD on Kickstarter to see our best videos with commentary, skits, interviews, and more behind the scenes crap. Folks, don't wait. Support the DVD today. mixed feelings about the Game Boy. I love the software, but I hate the hardware. Uh, how anyone played anything on that hardware. Ugh, I've, I have no idea. The whole time you're just, you know, trying to find the exact angle that reflects just the right amount of light, all while twisting the contrast knob to the rhythm of the ticking of the clock in the sixth hour of the sixth day, just to kind of see Mario. Ugh, thank God for the Game Boy player. And holy water, because now we can play tennis! I really did like the software, though. Game Boy had an amazing library. I think my favorite thing about it was how it got improved versions of existing games. You know, to me, there's no better version of Burger Time than Burger Time Deluxe for the Game Boy. The same goes for other arcade games, too, like Lock and Chase, even Donkey Kong, even some NES games, games like Tennis. Much like horror movies, this thing's way better in black and white. So if you missed the original, tennis was a pretty simple game of... Well, well, tennis. Simple mechanics in a simple match. Move and swing, singles or doubles. Also, Mario was the line judge. That's, that was pretty much the entire game. Then four years later, tennis would once again be released. This time for the Game Boy with a sharper backhand, so to speak. This version looks better, even plays better, and even with its one little drawback, this is still the best version of tennis. So what's that drawback? Uh, well, the original game had doubles, this one doesn't. Your only option is singles play. Kind of a bummer, but hey, it was 1989. This game was only released a couple weeks after the Game Boy's launch, so this was pretty early in the system's lifespan. But again, in every other area, this version has the edge, and none more so than the presentation. Tennis had a much more cartoony look on the Game Boy. You know, the sprites are more detailed, it's got music this time, and that gives the game a lot more character. You know, in fact, this version feels a lot more Nintendo than the original version, and that's totally due to its style and polish. But the game plays well too, but Honestly, Nintendo's done much better tennis games. Mario Tennis in particular. Just way, way better than this. Now, of course, there's something to be said for this one basically being the blueprint, which it is. I mean, every tennis game Nintendo's ever done can kind of be traced back to this one in terms of design and approach. But yeah, I mean, you play this after playing Wii Sports or Mario Tennis, pretty rough. And it's a more difficult game than you're probably expecting too. And it's a bit picky about your swings. Like in Mario Tennis, as long as you're close, you'll hit the ball. In this one, you have to swing it just the right time. I also found that trying to aim your shot is really tricky in this game. I mean, you have to be very delicate with the D-pad. Otherwise, you'll almost always land your shots out of play. Obviously, that could be a little frustrating. I mean, it's just it's just kind of jarring to go back to this one when you're used to Nintendo's modern tennis games. You know, they all have that really smooth gameplay. This one doesn't quite have that. But actually, some people might like that, that it is more delicate and more difficult. I mean, the computer can provide a pretty serious challenge in this game, even on the easiest difficulty. Hey, look, is there much reason to go back to tennis? No, not really. Not if you have a Mario Tennis or a Wii Sports. Those are way better versions of what is basically the same game. But for the historical perspective, I mean, to see where those games came from, tennis is certainly worth a look. So hey, come on in. Clay's still fresh. Actually, if the clay were fresh, that'd probably be a bad thing. It's tennis for the original Game Boy. Oh, and a huge thanks to our Greek friend with the rad name, Athanasios, for sending this to the show. You know, Mario's probably on his phone this entire time. Texting Peach. A filthy little bastard. 